Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to my channel Balu Master. Today I am going to discuss in limits and continuity the concept about continuity. So most of the people they are going to struggle with continuity topic. That's what I am going to discuss the continuity topic in easiest way. So look at carefully friends. Friends, I am going to divide into continuity topic as two parts. One is type 1, another one is type 2. What is type 1? What is type 2? Look at carefully friends. Friends, they are going to give the question as f of x friends. This f of x may be in two types friends. One is type 1 friends. Another one is type 2. So in type 1, the way of question will be like this. f of x is equals to whatever function it is given when f of x is equals to whatever function it is given they are going to give x greater than a x is equals to a x less than a they are going to give three conditions like this x greater than a x is equals to a and x less than a sometimes they are going to give these three conditions they are going to mix with two conditions means uh, this is equals to case either here or here they are going to mention that time if they are going to mention here x greater than or equals to a and x less than a that time two cases or else x greater than a x less than or equals to a <laughs> so this is type 1 friends so whenever type 1 will be the question means whenever greater than less than is your question that time you are going to find friends limit x tends to a minus f of x and limit x tends to a plus f of x and f of a so very very easy you are going to find out left limit and right limit and f of a how you are going to find out left limit right limit i want to discuss the problems that time you can able to understand very clearly if all the three are equal left limit equals to right limit equals to f of a all the three equal means we are going to call f of x is continuous at x is equals to a what is it friends f of x therefore f of x is continuous at x is equals to a otherwise otherwise means what friends otherwise means for example these two are not equal or else these two are not equal or else any these two are not equal whatever not equals at least one is not equals exists f of x is not continuous or discontinuous at x is equals to a we are going to call friends f of x is not continuous or x f of x is discontinuous at x is equals to a coming to type 2 the type 2 formation will be f of x is equals to some other function they are going to give fun like this this is what x not equals to a and x is equals to a case so x not equals to a x equal to a the representation will be x not equals to a and x is equals to a then whenever the given question is not equals to equals to then you can able to guess very clearly that is nothing but type 2 whenever type 2 is there what you are going to do directly you have to find out limit x tends to a f of x and f of a if these two are equal then we are going to call f of of x is continuous at x is equals to a otherwise f of x is discontinuous so very clearly there is no left limit there is no right limit for this kind of approach so what we are calling whenever these two will be equal therefore f of x is continuous at x is equals to a otherwise otherwise same like discontinuous Otherwise, same like discontinuous at x is equals to a. That's all friends. Very, very simple approach. Only two types, type 1 and type 2. If you know these two types, you can able to crack any kind of question. Now, I want to give multiple examples. Look at carefully. Friends, what are the two types? Type 1 is nothing but greater than less than model. And type 2 is nothing but not equals to equal to model. If it is greater than less than you have to find out left limit, right limit and f of a. All the three equal continuous, otherwise discontinuous. 
not equals to equals to means directly you have to find out limit extends to a f of x and f of a if both are equal then f of x is continuous at x equal to a otherwise discontinuous coming to examples so check the function f of x is equals to 1 minus x 0 less than or equals to x less than or equals to 1 x plus 2 1 less than x less than 2 at x equals to 1 is what whether it is continuous or discontinuous they are asking friends very clearly friends in the given question itself not greater than less than some symbols which is there greater than less than symbols are there friends of course less than symbols we are observing it is not not equals to equal to symbols that's what this is compulsory related to type 1 whenever that is type 1 we have left limit and right limit be careful friends very very easy what is meant by left limit right limit i'll explain now for example if you want to find out at x is equals to a so a minus is nothing but left limit of that a a plus is nothing but right limit of that a a minus is nothing but left limit of that a a plus is nothing but right limit of that a very simple friends left limit means you are going to find out x less than a right limit means you are going to find out x greater than a that's it x less than a and x greater than a so for example instead of x instead of a if it is 1 is there they are asking for 1 instead of a is 1 that's what x less than 1 case and x greater than 1 case you have to check it very very easy friends look at carefully friends so left limit friends limit x tends to 1 minus f of x according to your formula limit x tends to a minus f of x that's what limit x tends to instead of a is 1 1 minus f of x that is equals to limit x tends to 1 1 minus when you are getting 1 whenever x less than 1 1 minus 1 minus means this part this part means x less than 1 part x less than 1 part so x less than 1 f of x this is equals to limit x tends to 1 x less than 1 let us check where x less than 1 part is there if you observe here x less than 1 is there so f of x takes from these two x less than 1 function so what is x less than 1 function 1 minus x that is equals to 1 minus 1 that is what the value is 0 for example if you find right limit that also you are getting 0 then f of x is continuous of course you are going to find out f of 1 f of 1 also 0 then you are going to call f of x is continuous otherwise discontinuous coming to here friends right limit i am solving so limit extends to 1 plus f of x that is equals to limit x tends to 1 so 1 plus means 1 right hand part that's what x greater than 1 part x greater than 1 where x greater than is 1 is there look at observe carefully friends x greater than 1 part 1 less than x nothing but x greater than 1 both are same that's what x greater than 1 is nothing but x plus 2 so this is what f of x that is nothing but limit x tends to 1 x greater than 1 is what x plus 2 x plus 2 is nothing but 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 is nothing but 3 if you see here left limit and right limit both are not equal whenever both are not equal you no need to find out f of a if these two will be equal then you go and search for f of a whether it is equal or different now these two values are equal different that's what limit x tends to 1 minus f of x which is not equals to limit x tends to 1 plus f of x so what we can able to conclude otherwise case therefore f of x is discontinuous at x is equals to 1 we are going to tell f of x is discontinuous at x is equals to 1 this is type 1 related example friends now i want to discuss type 2 related example look at carefully friends did you observe this is type 1 or type 2 yes exactly not equals to equals to symbols are there that's what this is type 2 what is the question check the function f of x is equal to is continuous at x equals 0 is continuous or discontinuous they're asking that's what what you're going to do whenever this is type 2 you have to work out limit x stands to 0 f of x and f of 0 if both are equal continuous otherwise discontinuous now i'm trying to do limit x stands to 0 f of x 
so this is equals to limit x tends to instead of a 0 is there here that's what I substituted as 0 limit x tends 0 f of x what is your f of x x this meaning x reaches 0 x tends to 0 means x reaches 0 x reaches 0 means x not equals to 0 that's what we are going to write cos 3x minus cos 4x by x square did you observe friends this one according to our limits shortcut number three according to our limit shortcut number t any formation limit x stands to zero cos px minus cos qx by x square is nothing but the shortcut formula is q square minus p square by two if anybody having doubt please look at the description shortcut number three that's what according to formula cos px minus cos qx by x square q square four square minus three square by two that is what 16 minus 9 by 2 that is what 7 by 2 7 by 2 is your answer friends this is what limit x tends to 0 f of x and you are going to check it and f of a f of a is what f of 0 f of 0 means x is equals to 0 at x is equals to 0 f of 0 value is what 7 by 2 if you see here this is also 7 by 2 this is also 7 by 2 so what happened limit x tends to 0 f of x gives f of 0 therefore f of x is continuous at x is equals to 0 so therefore limit is continuous at x is equals to 0 friends so this is the types friends type 1 and type 2 please work out carefully then in the next sessions different different examples and different different shortcut formulas will be there i want to discuss in the continuity chapter also so that's all for today's class friends thank you thank you very much bye bye